Well, alhamdulillah guys, obviously for today, we got the brother Abdurrahim here, mashallah. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about a guy who has come out saying a lot of things. And before we get into the video, brother Abdurrahim, do you have anything to say? And you know, the man we're going to be reacting to the TED talk, he has some questionable ideas. Some, I mean, let's be honest, some wrong ideas. And you know, we're not going to be attacking him as a person, we're going to be attacking, or not attacking, but we're going to be refuting his ideas, right? Because that same person can turn around 180 and, you know, completely change and we would, we would have never known it. So now, let's get into the video. I invoke the greeting of peace unto you all. There are 1.6 billion Muslims in the whole wide world, each with a unique and special connection with the divine that we call Allah. First of all, just pay attention to his language, how he says, we call the divine Allah. I mean, it's not that we call it, that's there in the scriptures, and it's been there. Allah is the definition. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only, the one, the absolute truth, the one who was neither born or was given birth to, was neither begotten nor begotten. And he is unlike no other. You cannot fathom Allah. Allah is the one and only, the great God. Right? So, it's not like we have Allah, you have Bhagavan, we have Jesus, you have Moses. No. Though obviously we don't believe the Jews believe in Moses to be a God, but that's where they stop. But Allah is the term. You know, if anything can be a God. Anything. But when you say Allah... Like, I cannot say that chair is Allah. Because that chair, by definition, does not define the term. It's not the one and only absolute thing, the unfathomable. I see it. It's fathomed. You know? But Allah, you cannot fathom. By extension, there are 1.6 billion Islams. So, you know, already he's saying there are 1.6 billion Islams. What is that implying? That's implying that there are 1.6 billion different interpretations of Islam. Even though we know that there's one correct interpretation of Islam and that's what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with. And you know, it's not what I think or what he thinks. Or my dad. Or my dad. Or that guy's dad. Yeah, or Bashir uncle. We have Sunnis and Shias. We have Shia Itna Asharis and Shia Ismailis. We have Ahmadis and Bohras. We have LGBTQ Muslims, we have progressive Muslims. And yes, we also... Even if you look at the title of the video, LGBTQ Muslims, that's, what, you know, that's their agenda. That's what they want to push forward, right? They don't want to push forward any like, correct interpretation of Islam. They want to push forward literally the stuff that are against Islam. Bro, it's literally like saying, I'm short and tall. I'm white and black. You know? At the same time. How? So how can you be an LGBTQ member and then a Muslim? You either gotta pick one. You get what I'm saying? He starts off with these terms to already cause confusion. Because Islam means to submit. And through that submission to God, you acquire peace. Islam is something which Adam did, the Prophet Noah, the Prophet Abraham, the Prophet Moses, the Prophet Jesus, and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all submitted their will to Allah. And whoever follows that, whoever follows God and His messengers and His messenger has followed the straight path. Because Allah says in the Quran, O you who believe, do not hold on to the rope of Allah and do not be divided. Do not be like those who came before you, each splitting their religion, who splitted their religion to sex, each rejoicing on what they had. You know? So the point is not to separate. Not to segregate, not to become these sex. You know, earlier he mentioned LGBTQ Muslims, progressive Muslims, some other Muslims. Look, there's only one Islam, and that's the Islam that, like I said before, that Allah has revealed to the Prophet ﷺ. That's what we follow, right? The Prophet ﷺ, there's a famous hadith. He said that the Ummah will split into 73 portions, 73 sects. All of them are in hell except one. And that one is the one that I'm upon, meaning the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam and the companions. That's, you know, as simple as that. It's you are a Muslim, but 
you follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, whatever he prescribed, right? He, there, there's, all, there's all these issues. Like he faced LGBTQ Muslims. He faced uh, liberal, progressive Muslim thoughts, right? So, and he rejected them. So that's what, what we understand from that is if you want to be a true Muslim, you, are, you reject it too. That's just how it is. That's the simple fact. You can't, you know, like there's a big brother, he said this. He said, you can't be a blood and a crip at the same time. You can't be from the west side and east side at the same time. You can't be black and white at the same time. You can't be short and tall at the same time. Neither you can be a LGBTQ, a liberal, or even a progressive and a Muslim at the same time. You know, a Muslim with the ni'mah of Allah, with the blessing of Allah, we adapt with the times. We adapt with our social. It's not like we're going to drive on camel, we're going to ride on camels and stuff. But then again, we won't call ourselves by certain terminologies to put ourselves on a hierarchy or to look down on others. You know, we're, we're the ummah of the Prophet ﷺ and we have to, you know, we're Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. We keep the Quran and the Sunnah ahead of everything. Because Aisha they don't said, you know, the Prophet ﷺ, they asked him about his behavior. He said, his behavior was the Quran. So if you want to, there are certain verses you want to understand and how they were uh, you know, understood. You got to look at the life of the Prophet Muhammad So Jazakallah Khair guys, thank you for watching. Obviously we're not going to watch the entire video. It's like, a, I don't know, a 10 minute video and you know, we got other things to do. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Assalamu alaikum.